this is Johnny Vlogger UK. Welcome to another video. And today I'm going along the A27 from Colgate. So we've just got the Colgate roundabout. Um, I wanted to film this because I have done this before. But they've done a lot of um, they've done a lot of uh, road works, road improvements around this area. Um, there's a sign there. It says "Complete Spring 2022." This bit of road we're going on now that it used to they they was doing road works on all this all last summer, last year. As you can see, they've sort of finished it now. You've got a dual carriageway both sides. They put new crash barriers in the middle. Um, there's the sign Brighton New Haven on the right, or Colgate Willingdon on the left. So we're getting the right-hand lane. It's a 50 mile an hour speed limit here. And it goes down to 30 at the traffic light, just down here. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to film from here, Polgate, Eastbourne area, and you'll see they've done, um, they're doing some road work, halfway between here and Three Cillars, and then all the Three Cillars roundabout bits are new, that's all been redone, this bit here's all done, been redone. Personally, I don't like this section of Polgate. I think it looks awful. They've made it worse. The road's very narrow. I, I feel sorry for the drivers, the um, HGV drivers. They must find it really difficult turning some of these corners. I like getting through this. Look, look how narrow this bit of road is. I mean, really? People are going to like damage their wheels or something. They're going to hit the curb, man. But they don't, the uh, highway agency doesn't think of these things, they're a bit stupid. And it's very frustrating, they keep doing roadworks here in the evening between 8 and 6 on this stretch of road between Polgate and um, Brighton. It's very annoying for people that want to get home from uh, Eastbourne or Brighton or Brighton or Eastbourne. And you know, it's ridiculous, you have to go along the coast road sometimes. Um, in the daytime it's open, obviously, because it has to be, because the, there's a lot of traffic going along here. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things, isn't it? Never mind. So, um, it's quite mild today, it's 13, 14 degrees for February. works back there at that crossroad junction. I think they're going to put some traffic lights in there as well. They've lowered the speed limit to 30 and then it goes back to national speed limit just back where I passed. I think they should do away with the roundabouts on this road. 
that that Drew Sillers roundabout is what they've done. I think it's a waste of time. It has it hasn't really improved it. I don't think. You'll see in a minute. It used to be a single lane both sides, and they've made it into two lanes both sides now. But the problem is, when you approach the junction, if you're in the left lane or the right lane, and there's a car side on its side next to you in the other lane. Surely it's going to cause a confrontation of who's who's got who's got the um, advantage, you know, at the roundabout. We're coming to it now. We're just going over the cut near river, so you'll see what I mean in a minute. It's good if cars want to go left and through sinners, but it's rubbish otherwise. It does. I just don't know why they just didn't build a bridge here. Build a bridge. And um, so you can just keep going on, you don't have to slow down and uh, just have like a turn off. A turn off left and right and then a, a bridge going a bridge going over this junction. See look, I'm, in, I'm, in the I'm going in the left lane, you can go in the right lane here. But what's the point? It's stupid. Look at this roundabout, it's too wide now. They've made it wider. Road closed, 14th of February to the 25th of February. See, look, they're going to close it again. Ridiculous. It's like they've got um, an obsession about constantly wanting to do work on this stretch of road. I just find it so annoying. It's, it's, make, it's tempting me wanting to move back to Brighton because I really find it annoying. You know, when you want to go from Eastbourne to Brighton, you just want to get there quickly, like half an hour, 40 minutes, not hour, two hours. Do you know what I mean? They don't care. They waste They waste too much money. They don't think it over properly. Why have a roundabout? Why not be like America? Someone said to me the other day, in America, they don't have roundabouts. I don't know if that's true or not, but I must admit, I don't remember seeing one. There probably are some, but... You don't see many, and you just turn left or right with traffic lights. You know, why don't they do that here? You know, maybe they could do that at Drew Sillers. But then I suppose the traffic lights would build up the traffic, wouldn't it? It would it'd get too congested. So uh, maybe a bridge. I think a bridge is a better option where it's just a straight road and it just goes straight over the roundabout, above it, or a tunnel, build a tunnel, and then um, when people do a right at Drew Sidders from Brighton, they can go under the bridge. It doesn't affect the traffic. Or if you want to do a right the same the other way, just have a little turn off on each side. There, there's a um, barley mow. I'm not quite sure what it's called here, I can't remember. So we're going down the hill now. Now this is the annoying, this is another annoying thing now. They've made the speed limit 30 mile an hour from here. Look at this, this is absolutely ridiculous. <coughs> 30, 27 mile an hour, there you go, I've slowed down. But really? Why does it need to be 30 here? It goes on right up to the Bellingham roundabout. You watch. There's a police car. can't you find it impossible to do 30 along here it's like when you're in a 20 mile an hour zone how can you do 20 I don't think no one does 30 along here the average speed is probably 40 mile an hour people are just doing 30 40 even 50 I can't see any work being done here on the left can you maybe up ahead there is so why not just have it 30 mile an hour from where they're working? You know, it doesn't need to be 30 mile an hour 
everywhere, does it? It's ridiculous. I thought they was building another lane on the left, like um, to make it like um, widening the road. But it looks like some sort of like little private road or a pathway they're building on the left here. They've chopped all these trees down. They've destroyed all the trees. There's some left, but not many. I mean, how much is that costing? They're tarmacking it. Look, it's crazy. It really worth the money is that is that worth is that an a27 improvement and to me that is not an a27 improvement right we're by middle farm now Nice and they just left this road alone for five years and stopped mucking around with it, you know. Think things over properly and maybe get the public to vote how they would like this road rather than them deciding themselves what to do. Um, I personally think it should be left as it is or as it was a year ago or they need to widen it fast can go faster, like 70, 60, 70. But if they're going to do it, they're going to do it literally the whole, the whole stretch from Polgate to um, the Willingdon Roundabout. Bellingham Roundabout, sorry. Bellingham Roundabout. Which is what I'm doing now. I'm driving towards it and then I'm going to end the video. Um, you can see it's all single lane. We've just started doing some road works there on the left. So this just makes the journey take longer. I left um, Eastbourne at what, quarter to one? 23 minutes ago. So, yeah, quarter to one. If the road, if the speed limit and the road was clearer, the speed limit was uh, normal, 60 or 50, whatever, um, I'd, probably, I'd probably be at Lewis now. But because they dropped it down to 30, it's making my journey longer now. And look, they've just cleared a load of they're just clearing a load of stuff here, look, they're knocking all these hedges down. What are they doing? It's like they've um, spend money making footpaths you say. So here you go, it's ending now. As you can see that's quite a long stretch of road, about 30 mile an hour. Tell me what you think in your comments. So we're coming up to a turn off the blind blind born ringer. A bit further along is the Bellingham roundabout, so we've only got a little bit more. Lewis is four miles. Brighton 13, Hastings 23, Eastbourne 11. So only barely got miles from Eastbourne. There you go. And they they need to do a major repair just down here, there's a bridge and it's walked, the road has walked, it's been open about four years now you can just see it now, we're just coming up to it now see what, the car's going to bump, look, wait for it, here we go, Three, two, one. Hmm. 
you're on a motorbike and you hit that at 50 mile an hour, it's probably quite dangerous. Or if he was in a really low suspension car, like a Lamborghini, he'd probably rip the front bumper off. It's not, it's not level, the road, it dips, it drops. So hey, there we go, we're coming up to the bedroom roundabout now, so I'm coming to the end of this video now. Um, or shall I film, I'll film up to Lewis, up to the Lewis roundabout, we'll go a bit further. So here you go, it goes into three lanes here. New Haven there, Seaford on the left, Docks, Brighton, London, Lewis. Ugh. Lewis two miles, Brighton 11, London 60. Why you would go this way to London, I don't know. You would have, you would have gone up um, Tunbridge Wells way. <laughs> Crazy. So as you can see, it's a nice dual carriageway here. On the other side of the road, it's only a single lane. There's no crash barriers in the middle of the road. I think that's quite dangerous. Um, they did um, build a bridge back there. There used to be a level crossing back just behind me years ago. So that was a good improvement. I like that. That was good. Um, this bit of road's fine. I've got nothing against this. But, um, you know, they keep doing these roadworks, they are a bit annoying, but hopefully they come to an end at some point. If they don't, then I think I'll definitely move from Eastbourne and won't stay there anymore and um, move back to Brighton. It's not worth the hassle. It's going to be a constant thing. So what do you think? Write in your comments what you think. So for now, it's bye for now. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, like button. If you haven't subscribed, it's Johnny Vlogger UK. It's free, it doesn't cost anything. Just click that red button, subscribe, and the notification bell so you get notified when uh, I release videos and go live. Okay, so for now, it's bye bye. Have a good day, stay safe, and see you later.